uh, this is Lotus Skaters, and I'm going to show you people how to make Bluetooth to your PS3 controller, which is this, onto your computer, so you can play on it. So, like last, like on my vet last video where I showed you how to connect your PS3 controller to your computer, well, PC, this only works for PC, by the way. Um, I'll show you guys how to... Bluetooth it now. Now all you here's our here are some of the basic devices you need. If your computer does not have a Bluetooth on it, then you're gonna have to go out and buy one from Fry's, Best Buy. And the cheapest that you could get is like twenty dollars. Highest I seen was like eighty. I don't know, over a hundred, probably. Anyways, this is a Durango. Got this one for about twenty bucks at Fry's. And it was a pretty good price and it works really well. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and plug that into the computer. You also need to connect it, like, regularly on the DS, on the PS3. So, let's go ahead and start doing that. P and you also need the PS3 controller, of course. So, let's do that. And let's open the DS3 tool. So, if you people haven't seen my last video, you will have to see the last video in order to do this but if you have then you're good now let's just wait for this to pop up try again come on there it is of course Alright, well here's here it is and uh, of course it picks it up, which is good. You don't need to do anything from there right now. You want to go to Bluetooth pair, naturally. And when you have your Bluetooth device already connected, it will actually automatically pick it up. Or your Bluetooth device from your laptop or whatever you have, your desktop. And right here, this is why you need it. You need to connect it to, to the USB. So, by the way, I'm going to tell you guys this. Uh, this will make it so that it will automatically pair when you press the PS button onto the Bluetooth right there. So, when you do that, then it will only pick that up. Now, this now, let, don't, don't be afraid. All you have to do is just plug your PS3 controller back to your PS3 and just it will work like regular. But you're going to have to redo it, all the steps again. Just so you know, I just want to tell you guys that it's not, it won't mess anything up. So let's go ahead and click pair now. So once it's paired, you're not really going to hear anything, but go ahead and unplug your PS3 controller. Now this is why I want to tell you guys not to, not to do anything because it's not going to, it's not going to matter until after. So as you can see, it actually picked it up. It's actually at number four player 4 for some reason for me at least I don't know about you people so let's go to profiles now hold on now dual 3 dual shock 3 6 axis bluetooth instead of usb it says bluetooth so now you have a wireless ps3 controller and you get to pick whatever settings you want for it for playstation 1 playstation 2 etc I usually like the Xbox 360 for it, so I'm going to do that, put custom 1, enable. It'll make that sound like it does with the Xbox 360 controller. And as you can see right there, it's at player 1 now. Still being right here, now it's all the way over here, which is player 1, which means it works. If you guys want me to show you more proof, let me go ahead and do that right now. Hold on. Now, which one should I do? Hmm. Let's do the classic old Street Fighter. Now, shouldn't we? Okay. Classic old Street Fighter 2. Gotta love it. Turbo. Oh, and let's go ahead and uh, input the configurations in case you haven't. So, here's up, down, left, right, B, A. Y, X, start, select, L, R, up left, up right, down right, down left. 
See? Wirelessly. Now it's only acting up because there's so much things going on right now. Start. Start. Play as Ryu. My face! You're my face! Go! Ah, uh, it's lagging up. It's lagging up because of the video stuff. Too much going on. Let's go ahead and do a Hadouken. Come on, do a Hadouken. Come on. I hate Zangief. <laughs> You guys, you people always see me lose from him. So, as you can see, now it works. So, like I said, it will automatically, whenever you want, you have your Bluetooth on or whatever. In case it's off, unplug it, plug it back in, or turn it back on. Whatever you guys have to do. <sighs> because it has that little blinking thing. Uh, anytime you want to, you know, have that, make sure your Bluetooth is on. Just press the PS button. It'll automatically, uh, oh, it'll automatically, you know, connect instead of having to open DS3 tool. The only thing you will have to do is enable the control that you want in order for it to work correctly. That's about all you really need to know. <laughs> oh, one thing, if you haven't used your, if you don't use the PS3 controller within a uh, limited amount of time, it'll automatic, it'll, it'll just put the PS3 controller to sleep, but it'll keep the settings that you have on it. So you won't have to worry about open reopening DS3 tool or anything. So there you have it. This is Lotus Skaters showing you how to do this. And I hope you you people enjoy the video. <laughs> so this is Lotus Skater signing out. Peace out. <laughs> Lame. Bye guys. Have a nice day. Love y'all.